In Comox Valley, RCMP are still trying to figure out how a 13-year-old boy was struck and killed by the ENN Dayliner passenger train in Union Bay. It happened yesterday. The Via Rail train was traveling northbound when it hit the boy. Mounties say they don't know why he was on the track or why the train's crew had no idea they struck the boy until they were notified by police later in the day. A news reporter Gord Kerbis has the latest. This afternoon in Union Bay, the Via Rail passenger train heads northbound towards Courtney. It passes over the exact spot where yesterday afternoon a 13-year-old boy was killed when the train struck him. Police are still trying to determine exactly how that happened. We received a, a frantic 911 call. There's going to be obviously some, uh, some work that our investigators are going to need to do on this file. I mean, it, it, it was a tragic accident. Police have learned that the boy was helping his father work on this property just a few meters away from the tracks. His father, along with the owner of the property, had just finished loading some heavy equipment, and then they started searching for the boy. He wasn't responding, and so at that point they went looking for him, and um, tragically it was the father who found his son on the tracks. Police are still unsure at this point why the teenager was on the tracks or how he didn't see or hear the train coming. The train does sound its whistle when it comes into the area. Police don't believe the teen was wearing any headphones that may have drowned out the train. A truck that actually, you know, it has the equipment so that it can drive along the tracks had passed by there shortly beforehand. And I believe that the, uh, the boy and I think the father had noticed that. So it got his attention and then he had gone up to the tracks after that. We see people walk, walking up and down the tracks all the time, walking their dogs and uh, kids and everybody's pretty aware of the train. Steve Tui operates Two Eagles Lodge, a bed and breakfast located in the area. His property backs up against the rail line. He's already planning to post extra warning signs on his property to keep guests away from the tracks. And it's quite a stretch where you don't hear the last horn blowing is uh, approximately a mile down track. Um, so maybe he didn't hear that and was hearing the heavy equipment. The family of the victim is understandably devastated with what has happened here and they've asked that his name not be released through the media. What we can tell you is that the family lives in Black Creek and they are part of the very tight-knit Mennonite community. We're told that the victim is the oldest boy in the family of eight children and that that son often helped his father when he was at work. Tonight, that Mennonite community will have to come together to try to help the family grieve. The two-person crew that was working on the train yesterday, an engineer and conductor, have been cooperating with police. Their crew wasn't aware they had struck the boy until they were traveling south back through the area. The coroner's office has now taken over the investigation and will continue to look for answers. In Union Bay, Gord Kervis, A News.